Today I want to show you the easiest way to reach your BIOS settings in Windows 10 and enable virtualization. First we want to go down and hit the start menu or go into the search bar. We're looking for something that's called startup and this is the fastest way I found to access your computer's boot settings or firmware. We're going to this change advanced startup options. Once you click on that you're going down and looking for something called advanced startup and there you're going to hit restart now. This isn't actually going to restart the PC right away, but we'll hit restart anyway. It might take a few moments while Windows 10 is thinking about things here. The next thing to do is to go down to troubleshoot. In troubleshoot, you'll notice another option called advanced options. And finally, on the right hand side, you'll see UEFI firmware settings, or you might not have UEFI based BIOS. It might be legacy. Either way, select the firmware settings and You'll notice it says restart to change UEFI firmware settings. That's exactly what we want. This will help us enter BIOS for whatever computer that you have, making it much easier. So we'll just hit restart and let's give it a few moments as things boot up. While this is happening, make sure to smash that like button for me so other people know how to get to their virtualization settings and set up virtualization in Windows 10. All right, fantastic. Since I have a Dell computer, this is what my BIOS looks like. Yours might look quite different. I'll actually put another example right after this one for another type of BIOS screen in case it's more like yours. But either way, in the BIOS setup, I can go down to something called virtualization on the left. And then what I'm looking for is specifically this enable Intel virtualization technology. And I wanna make sure that it is selected to be on. By default, it is going to be off because virtualization isn't really needed for most computers. You'll want on. And then it specifically says here, when on, the system will be able to run a virtual machine. And that's exactly what we want. You'll also want the VT for direct IO. Make sure that this is on as well, if it's already off. Again, it's probably off by default. And some other names you may be looking for throughout your BIOS settings is VT-X or VTX or AMD V if you have an AMD processor. This will apply for just about any computer. Typically, that's what it's named or just virtualization in general. Either way, once you have those enabled, apply your changes, hit OK, and then you can exit and load into your computer. Let's check out and make sure that I can run a virtual machine. While things are loading here, if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe below for more tips and tricks and easy to follow tutorials. Let's log in. OK, and by default, I like using VirtualBox in order to run my virtual machines. So I'm going to launch VirtualBox and make sure I can create a virtual machine. If you need help using VirtualBox, I got plenty of videos. I'll put a link in the description below. Anyways, I'm going to hit new and spin up a Linux environment. Specifically, I'm gonna do Ubuntu today. I'm gonna hit next, give it some memory, hit next, create a virtual disk, give it some space, and go into settings. Okay, I'm going to select Ubuntu as my startup image, hit okay, and then as long as I can boot up into the installer, I have successfully enabled virtualization for my BIOS for Windows 10. All right, gonna start the image, and it looks like it's thinking here, perfect. It says try or install Ubuntu. I have no errors starting the virtual machine. This is a brand new virtual machine, so that's fantastic news. I have successfully at this point enabled virtualization through BIOS on Windows 10. And real quick, I'll also show you on an American Megatrends BIOS. What you first do is you go over using the graphical method to the advanced tab. In the advanced tab, you'll notice that there's an advanced or CPU configuration portion. And as we're scrolling through these settings, you'll notice under the PSS support, we have a description, enable, disable the generation of ACPI, PPC, etc. Great, look down at this because you'll notice if we keep going down, once we get to SVM mode, it says enable or disable CPU virtualization. Currently it's disabled. This is exactly what we want. We want to enable this. So this one's called SVM mode. The complicated part is this changes based on the BIOS that you have. So you're probably gonna be looking around a little bit to either find VTX, AMD V, SVM mode. We're going over and we're enabling this mode. Then I'm going over to the exit to save changes and restart. I'm gonna hit okay. And that's going to load me in to my Windows computer. And I'm going to do the same test as before to make sure that virtualization has been enabled. If you have further questions, comment below, smash that like button, subscribe. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.